Now it was about Faruku Kingdom. I called on this meeting. To let us know that there is fire on the mountain. Fire aqua. Igwe, please tell us more about this fire. Yes, let's know how to quench it. Very early this morning, the Ezem of visited my palace with the offer in his hand. In range said that the gods are not happy with us. And this is because our land has been desecrated. He also said that there shall be high level of death of our people. As has never been seen since the existence of our Faruku kingdom. Hi! Captain Kese Ajuisi. This smell is outrageous. Igwe. Igwe, I'm of the opinion that will call the SMO. I ask him to go and require from the gods who has decreased the land so that others will not suffer what another has committed. Oh, come oh. on. Look at that and all the one more love. Bam. An elder doesn't stay at home and watch a tilted goat oh. give birth. Oh. It's not possible. My elders, you have spoken well. Oh no, you have spoken well. The problem here is, I have asked Ezemwa the same question, but he wouldn't give an answer to that. Igwe, that's not possible. Ezemo is the mouthpiece of the gods. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the gods pass message through him to us. Oh, come on. So he would refuse to answer us. Can we give you to touch why we would you to pour our ballet? Yes. Oh. We can't just fold our hands. Good now, before it gets dark. Hey, Ibe, Ibe, oh, Ewo, Ewo, Ibe, oh, Ibe, Ibe, Ibe. My eyes have seen my ears. Isha Is it not Mazia with her daughter, the Pawantapa? She looks like one. Mm -hmm. Yangwa, say something and stop keeping with the others and the ego is suspense. Amazimu? Yes. Amazimu. My daughter, what is it that you have seen? Igwe, I, I saw with my two eyes a stranger with a big book parading all the corners of our community preaching about his gods he go, the words that it was is that he said that our chi okugarusi is not a god hey. Hey. Aro. Mm. abomination okay mm. my daughter are you sure of what you are saying I am very, very sure. I can even take you and the elders to the very place he's camping. Hey. Oh. Hmm. He may leave. Thank you, Ibe. I got to the Levant of Lago. Of Lago. Mm. Oh, I got to the Levant of Lago. I got to the Levant of the ghosts by themselves and by their discretion have sinned 
what the stranger has committed. The stranger has desecrated and adulterated the land. I see heaps of blood, carcasses, and dead bodies. Go and hijack that stranger. Bundle him alive to Agulago Shrine, where he shall be beheaded. The gods have spoken. I, Igwe, am Kamara, Nenasa, one of our Faruku kingdom, will teach the stranger and his God a lesson that will never be erased in the history of life. God, Igwe, go, bundle him, take him to Agulagu tribe. Oh, come in. Now, Igwe, God. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, and He is the true God. For my Bible tells me in the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, as recorded in St. John chapter 1, verse 3 through to 6, For all things were made by Him, for without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him is life, and this life is the light of men. This light shines in darkness, and the darkness can never comprehend it. Which means, he is the creator of all things, including you and I. His power supersedes every other powers, including the Ogugu, your gods. This stranger with his mouth has incurred the wrath of Ogugaru Shawachi. Can't you hear him talking of him? My dear, the king and his cabinet members should do something about this immediately. Before the wrath of our gods will start killing one by one. Me, I don't want to die. It's okay to say, see the guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Before they will say you have joined the man now. Hey. The people of Apanubu Kingdom, I bring to you the good That's news. That's it. The message That's of it. our Lord Jesus Christ. Excuse me. What have I done to you? I only came to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear people of Afaruku Kingdom, the Ezemo and the King has ordered that everybody should gather at the Agulagu Shrine for the total cleansing and execution of the stranger that desecrated the land with its gods. Oye Gerere, Yakora Wanea. Dear Afaruku Kingdom, this is to inform you people that the Ezemo and the king order that everybody should gather this school evening, be okay, at the Agulago Shrine for the total cleansing and execution of the stranger that desecrated the land with its gods. Oye gere, ya kora wanea. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
Kingdom. Tonight, according to the laws, traditions, and customs of our land, every one of you shall be cleansed by your Google so that you shall be free from the curse and curses that this stranger has caused. Because he has adulterated and desecrated the land. When you are cleansed, then you shall be free. Thereafter, he shall be beheaded. So that our cross and all that we have in the land, we do well. It's strange. This has never happened in this land. My people, Ewe! you have all seen what just happened. This is obvious that the God of this stranger is greater than our own God. Mm. Therefore, 
from this day onward, we all shall worship the God of this stranger. Mm. God, after him. I thank you, my Lord God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who deliver me from the hands of the founders. May your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. My good people of Afarumu Kingdom, what happened in your presence is the manifestation and the power of Almighty God. If you can believe in this name, the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. You shall be delivered. Because he is the only God that we are to worship. Beside him, there is no other God. I want you to confess if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. I want you to repeat after me. Raise your hand up. One of your hand up. Raise it up. Repeat after me. Our Lord, Jesus, Our Lord Jesus, please forgive my sin. Please forgive my sin. I repent today. I